Mr. Hernandez? Do you have a question, Lizzie? God never commanded us to give 10% of our money. In the book of Psalms, he said his laws were for Israel and that he gave them to no other nation. Okay, Lizzie. Please tell the class why God instituted the tithe. The patriarch Jacob had 12 sons. These 12 sons had many children and ranked children who became known as nations in the Bible. Go on. Of these 12 nations, God chose the Levite, Levi and his offspring to be ministers in the tabernacle. The remaining 11 nations of Israel were commanded by God to give tithes to the Levites. God said the Levite was entitled to receive the tithes because he had no inheritance amongst the other nations in Israel. Okay, let me interrupt you for a moment. You said that the Levites were ministers in the tabernacle, correct? Yes, that is correct. Well, today we have pastors, elders, bishops, deacons and teachers in the church. They are the equivalent of the Levite in ancient Israel. They are entitled to the tithes of the congregation just as the Levites of old were. Mr. Hernandez, where does the Bible say that ministers in our church are entitled to tithes? Lizzie, did you not say the Levites were ministers in the temple and were eligible to receive tithes? Are not those men I mentioned in the church also ministers? If they are, then they are just as eligible to receive tithes as the Levite before them. That would be true. If the Bible said the tithes were for the ministers of the church. However, it does not. Please explain. Thank you. As I said previously, the book of Psalms tells us that God did not give other nations the laws he gave to Israel. Do you have a reference for that? Yes, sir, I do. It is Psalm 147, verses 19 and 20. Thank you. Please continue. Up to now. I have not mentioned what God said his holy tithe was to consist of, only that it was to be given to the Levite. Was it not money? No, it was not money. In Leviticus 27, verses 30 through 33 we find what God's holy tithe was to consist of. God said it was the seed of the land. This is speaking of garden produce. God said it was also the fruit of the tree. This is produced from the orchards. God also said it was every tenth animal to pass under the rod. These are all agricultural crops and livestock. God mentioned no other items than that which came from crops and livestock as being tithable. It appears we have a Bible scholar among us, class. Mr. Hernandez, aren't we all supposed to study our Bibles so that we will be approved by God? Yes, Lizzie. We are. May I continue? Please do. Thank you. To further show that God's holy tithe was not money, we need only go to the book of Deuteronomy, the 14th chapter and verses 22 through 27. There, we see that the tithe was to be eaten. Do we eat money? Of course not. We eat food. Tithes were food. But notice that passage further demonstrates that the tithes were not money when it says that the tithe could be sold for money if the tither had too far to go to tithe or the tithe was too heavy. Interesting. Go on. When the tither reached Jerusalem, he was to buy back the tithe with the money and there in Jerusalem he was to eat the tithe with his family and the Levites. Interesting. Yes. Mr. Hernandez, did you know that it was not the congregation of Israel who were responsible for tithing to the temple? But, I thought you just said that the tither was to take his tithe to the temple? Now, you are contradicting yourself and saying they were not to tithe to the temple. What are you talking about, young lady? Not contradicting myself at all. Let me explain. In Nehemiah, chapter 10, verses 37 and 38, we read that the congregation of Israel were to take the first fruits to the temple chambers, but the tithes they were to take to the Levites. The Levites were to then bring a tithe of the tithes to the temple and put that in the chambers. It was the ministers of the temple who were responsible for tithing to the temple not the congregation. But that would mean? Yes, that means only 1% of Israel's total agricultural produce was required to go to the storehouse. Not 10% Mr. Hernandez. If you will read Deuteronomy 6, verses 1 through 3, and Deuteronomy 12, verses 10 and 11, you will see that God said his tithes were not to be observed until the Israelites crossed the Jordan River and entered the Promised Land. Mr. Hernandez, since God said tithes were not to be observed until Jordan is crossed and entrance into the promised land is gained, 
It is impossible for us to pay tithes. We are on the wrong side of the river to either pay tithes or to collect tithes. Oh my! They did not teach me this in seminary. Mr. Hernandez, I just looked at the time. Class is about to end for the day. Can I say just one last thing, please? Yes, please do. Mr. Hernandez, in the last book in the Bible where tithes are mentioned, Hebrews 7, we find that it is still the sons of Levi who are commanded to take tithes, not preachers on Gentile soil. Also, we learn that those tithes are to be taken from the Levites' brothers, the Israelites, not from church members on Gentile soil. Also, the command says that tithe is to be according to the law. The law said that God's holy tithe was to be of agricultural nature, not money. So you see, we are not commanded to tithe at all. That signals the end of our class for the day. Lizzie, thank you for opening our eyes to what the Bible says about tithes. Perhaps you can help me tomorrow afternoon and teach the class how we are to provide for our ministers by other methods than tithing? I will go home now and study this out myself. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. I will be glad to. Class dismissed.